guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video we are going to be watching season 7 episode 2 of station 19 um and the title of this episode is good grief where we left off um jack was waking up we found out he could no longer be a firefighter because of his injuries it's just too much um what's his name freaking pfft, travis cheated again on his boyfriend with Emmett. I'm so sick and tired of this going back to Emmett storyline. We've been here this is what like the third third or second time. Let it go. Let it go. Let the man move on. And honestly like throw away the election guy too. Like let's throw everybody away and let's start over. Um Sullivan was all about his relationship. So nothing interesting there. Um, Karina and Maya adopted the baby and agreed to get a house. And from the looks of the thumbnail, um, this guy's coming back out of rehab. What is his name? I don't know. Anyways, I'm gonna get into this episode because my camera is the batteries can't win quickly. So let's get back in let's get into this video. <laughs> So glad that I don't have any ads. Down tempo music. Oh, are they doing their um clinic? Yeah, it's change, right? They could get better. It's a lifelong injury. Yeah, we thought that man spiraled. Nineteen will still be here for you, just in a different way. Oh, that is so like sad and hard because he's so young. And now he has to like walk away from this job that's his whole life and create a new life. Oh, Herrera. Baby, you spiraled so hard last time. They're afraid that it might come back for a round two. I know we're all devastated, but uh, we have a job to do today. Just remember there'll be a dinner for Gibson tonight. That's it? Well, it's vaccine day, so it's restocking or desk duty. Restocking. Herrera, from experience, when you're counting, you don't negotiate. You don't give people options. You just tell them what to do. Oh, no, we're not doing this, sir. We're not doing this, sir. Okay, I'm glad she took it well. Thank you for coming. Yeah, we'll try away. Plus, I'm not going to let you walk into a bar alone on your first day out of rehab. It's polite to bring flowers to your funeral. You can't drink flowers, Hughes. Well, what does that even mean? This is your first Irish wake, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. Who's Irish? Oh, and the Irish drink heavy, too. Oh, his uncle. Okay. Hey, hey, hey. Is this, uh... Oh, Herrera. 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 Oh my god, they think he's married? No friend, Vic. Hello. Uh, well, you're really at his league, sweetheart. Well, all right. We have fun. Hello. Hello. Well, there are flowers <laughs> for you. Right. This is why he is the way that he is. Got it. This is my, uh, well, I'm Eli. I'm his Eli. Hi, I'm, I'm so sorry for your loss. Your father was, uh, a great man. He was. I see you're on dialysis. You know, it, it's rare. And, and maybe a little infected. I can take a look at it if you want. I'm from a doctor. Those look like marks like that. They know me. I usually just talk to Jack. Yeah, hey, 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 boy. Is he gonna do like the clinic like full time? And, uh, I think that would be good for him. Where are you, kid? Always imagined Jack here. Whenever I'd see myself as captain, he was here. Part of the Sometimes I think about the very first episode of Station 19 when we first met them and they were like so deep into their friendship. Then I think back to now where we are, and I'm like, they've gone through so much and have drifted so far apart. It's like so hard to believe that those are the same people from the first season. Because like that friendship dynamic is just like, it doesn't seem like it's fully there anymore. Tell me. Now he won't be. 19 is still family. Yeah, but y'all have to go about your lives and he's not going to have anything for his day-to-day -day life. And who are you again? Oh, um, I'm helping your mom out with her honor. So I asked. 
Who are you? And what are you doing in my house? First of all, sir, I'm gonna need you to. Hey, some days he's fine. You know, he even helped me unload my truck once. But other days he can go from zero to sixty in seconds. He's dangerous. Oh hell no! And you got Warren up in there alone. I should just got out of rehab, guys. Right. No, he's right. being dead serious. Well, cheers. Here's to another death in the family. The death of Fawn Shaw. It's a good thing he's a hard man. <laughs> oh my god, she's so freaking cute. Hi. How can I help you? Um, it seems like I have a bad migraine. Okay. Stress. Oh my god, she's so familiar. Where is she from? You don't remember me, do you? Hey, Krina. Uh, Krina, can I see you over here? Oh, what's happening? What's the story behind this? She did say she was traveling. Oh, my boyfriend and I were. Okay. No, ma'am. Don't tell me she has a virus or something. I never would you be exposed. Exactly. So I'll keep calm. I think I cut them head out. Everybody, please stay calm. No need to panic, but we need to lock this place down. All right. When you say words like "stay calm," no need to panic. We need to lock this place down. In that order. Not, not helping, babes. Not helping. I feel so bad for Vic because I don't know what I would do with her situation. Where's the remote? I'm so skipping this. I'm skipping this, you guys. I'm over the cycle. That's not a sunburn. That's not a sunburn. No, okay. Not a sunburn. Can we open your shirt? I'm so scared for these two. Like, something's gonna happen. You might know it as a red flag law. It's a suspension of a person's firearms temporarily until the, the person's in a better headspace. <gasps> shots fired. I repeat, shots fired at 106. Oh, God. I'll show you oh, hey, 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 put the gun down. Yeah, he said the dog tried to attack him, so he fired the gun into the ground. His, the dog tried to attack him from across the fence. Because the dog jumped over the fence to try to bite him when the owner had him on the collar. This is why. The dog was on his leash. Look, with no witnesses, it's he said, he said. No witnesses. You have two firefighters right here. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <gasps> yeah, alright. But I want sirens. I want and I want to push the button. I love their friendship. Why are you doing crisis one? I need it right here. I think Vic needs it. Somebody who's disassociated kind of from the team. Dr. Karina DeLuca? Yeah, that's me. You've been served. Oh. Damn. The one time she's been useful. By the woman that was here today with her kid. Can she do that? I was her OB five years ago and for a little while just get them out of the house. You're doing the right thing. Right, come here, let me uh, I'll show you how to get on the petition online. Oh, are we all gonna go sit under the table with him? Oh. <laughs> Prove it. 2018. Girl. That was good. Final thoughts. That was a better episode. Um, to be completely honest with you, the Travis Emmett storyline, I'm so over it that I just skipped it this whole episode. Like, I fast forward through everything. I'm over that. Boring. Let's move on. Vic loved her. I loved getting to see her. And why am I feeling Beckett? Beckett, I love getting to see her and Beckett's like friendship, like this odd friendship. Getting to see her talk to him last season into getting help was, I was crying. It was so good. Um, who else? Well, Karina, I'm so intrigued to see like what the charges are for. Well, obviously she's getting sued, but like what's the story? Um, when the lady was saying like, you don't know who I am? I was like, what's the story? In Karina's fault, or like in her defense, not fault, in her defense, 
you you were her patient five years ago she sees patients every single day she's not gonna remember you and i'm sorry to say this but there's so many people so many cases that they see a day you're yeah but i wonder like what karina did that made her that like this making her sue um what else yeah andy doesn't have a little bit andy hasn't really had a storyline this season nothing else besides her trying to be captain and like they're sprinkling her in here and there but like when are we gonna give her like the actual story like hello um seeing jack that was really sad i hope he still pops up yeah i'm excited for next week's episode and i will see you guys then